Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You'll never have the sacred stone. <laughs> oh, this you crazy mother. Hello everyone, this is Daniel Lambert with Plush Republic. Uh, I've been getting a lot of questions about how to uh, track links within uh, Google Analytics. Um, and there, there's two sets of questions that I get. One is how do you track link clicks into your website? So coming from ads or from a referral to your site. Um, and then the other being how do you track link clicks within links that are embedded on your website? Um, so I'm gonna break those into two separate videos. Uh, because you may not be interested in one or the other and I don't want to make a video too long. So uh, this first video is how to track link clicks into your website. And if you're interested in seeing how to track link clicks on your website, uh, go down to the description and click on part two. That will show you how to uh, track the link clicks that are actually happening on your site. So um, just to give you a little bit of background on how all this works. So you obviously have to have a Google Analytics account set up. And what we're trying to track is if someone's coming from a Facebook ad, an email click, um, another blog post that refers to your website and how to see where that's, that traffic is coming from. So within Google Analytics, what you would do is go down to the acquisition section um, and then just you can quickly click into overview to get like a brief um, showing. So like organic is anything that's coming from Google search. Direct is anything that comes directly to your site. So types in uh, plusherpublic.com, uh, clicks enter and lands directly on your site or has like a link um, that they already know exactly what it is. Um, social is anything coming from social media. Referral is from third party sites. So say like uh, the New York Times put a link to my website, hypothetically, that would be a referral link. Um, and then others, things that aren't captured. Um, and what you can do here is when you come down to all traffic and you click on source and medium breakdown, uh, this will break down all of the sources of the traffic driving to your site. Um, so this is links coming, link clicks into my site coming from Google Organic. This is uh, coming from Facebook, Bing, etc. Um, so how does this stuff get classified, and how can you dive like a little bit deeper into this? Uh, I'll give you a really good example. So it's a thing called UTM parameters. Um, so if I have an influencer who I want sending traffic to my website, uh, say they write like a blog post, and I want them to link uh, into our our main page or our website. I would typically have the root domain of my website, which would look something like this, plushrepublic.com. Um, and if that came in and I gave them just that link, it might come through as direct traffic or potentially as referral, but I wanna be able to see that this was specifically coming from um, an influencer uh, related uh, post. So what you do is use UTM parameters, which is structured like it is above. So it'll be UTM source, equals, in this case, it would be the website that the influencer was referring from. So I just put influencer.com. And then the UTM medium, I'll just set to influencer. And then the campaign will be whatever it is. So in this case, I'll do Christmas 2019. And what that does is if you go into a browser and say this was a link that was on somebody else's site and they click that, it'll now be tracked separately. And I can see that link specifically um, within Google Analytics. So if you come into your real time and I look at uh, overview, sorry, traffic sources, you'll see that I have that influencer and I can click down, sorry, and it'll be that Christmas 2019 campaign. Um, so it's it'll take a little bit, but eventually this will come down and be accessible within your behavior section. Um, so that's roughly how it happens. Uh, and the same thing goes for anything else. So if I am placing Facebook ads, uh, same thing as I can set up my uh, UTM parameters right here. I have the medium of Facebook, the source of cost per click, and the campaign. And that's how when I come in later on, I wanna see all of the link clicks that are coming into my website. Um, it's predominantly done off of UTM parameters like that. Um, and same with like email service providers, they'll typically append the source and medium of email um, and wherever it's coming from. So if you send it from like ActiveCampaign or MailChimp, a lot of them will have the option to just uh, enable uh, UTM parameters. And then one more thing that, that can be helpful when you're trying to track this is in within the context of uh, referrals, because some referrals say if it's the uh, New York Times or if it's like a major publication like that, I would want to get a better understanding of what page what was referring to me. Um, so when you see, sorry, I'm going to close my video down.
Um, so here's like a blog that referred to my site. This is one of the few that will give you more context into how they actually came through to your site. So if I click in and I pick a secondary dimension of uh, full refer, it will actually provide me with the exact uh, referring URL that linked through to my site. So this is only available with the referral traffic, um, but it'll give you a little bit more context of, you know, if you have a whole bunch of other publications referring to your site and you're seeing a lot of traffic and you want to know where that link is specifically coming from, in this case, it is coming from this blog um, and I could then go visit that page. So just as an overview, if you're trying to figure out um, the link clicks and how the traffic is getting to your site, it's in the acquisition section. And this is populated through the use of UTM parameters, like I showed you here, um, appending UTM source, medium, and campaign level information. And then Google will then identify that and put it into these groupings. And you can even create uh, custom UTM parameters like I showed you uh, for influencer, or whatever else you want. Um, and then for referral specific traffic, you can go into uh, the uh, referral source and medium section, drill down to full refer and see exactly the link that they were clicking through to get to your site. So hopefully this gives you an understanding of how to actually find um, where your traffic is coming from and get a little bit more information on links coming into your site. And then stay tuned for part two of the video where we dive into how to actually track link clicks on your website. So thank you for watching and we'll hop on right into the next one. Crazy mother